Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back again to the Controls Guru channel. Thanks again for tuning in. It means a lot to me to know that you guys are willing to take the extra mile to learn and to become more efficient and to better yourselves overall in your controls journey. Today we wanted to talk about how to link mark a one single point to multiple different points all at once through the batch editor. Primary example of this would be VAV controllers. You may have, you know, 100 VAV controllers at a site and the thermostat likes to display the outdoor air temp and you want to link mark the outdoor air temp to those controllers all at once. Uh, one solution would have been to have started the first VAV, did a link mark on the first VAV, and then as you copied and pasted all of your points, you can copy and paste that link mark with it. But if you've forgotten and you want to do it all at once through the batch editor, this is how you would do it. So as you can see, we have the global outdoor or global programming, we have our global outdoor air temp. And currently at this point, um, because this is just a demo site, we're using the weather service current conditions to give me the temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this point just so we have it copied. Okay, so let me show you how we have our driver set up. We have our BACnet network, then we go to our VAVs and we have 28 VAVs listed here. Um, I just copied and pasted this from one of our sites that we had done in the past just to make it a little bit easier. As I expand our points, as you can see, we have our outdoor temp here. I will show you guys the wire sheet here to prove that nothing is linked. Again, I apologize, I just copied and pasted this. So it may have a value, but it'll show you that nothing is linked. Maybe if I can find out where it is at quickly. Outdoor temp, right here. So as you can see, no link marks at all to any of these points. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So let's go ahead and open up your services, your program service. We're gonna do a find object. Now I've shown you how to do this in the past, so what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for name equals, and again, this is case sensitive, so make sure you match the case to how it exactly appears in the points folder of your controller. So name equals outdoor temp. We wanna be a little bit more specific in case we use the same naming nomenclature. So we will do parent.parent.displayName because that's our VAV folder. It's gonna be like, and we're gonna make sure we look for VAV star. And here we go. It has found the outdoor temp for all of our VAV controllers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a slot. Through the Baja, we're gonna look for a point called link. Naming it, whatever you wanna name it, that could be something that makes sense to you. So we'll say global OAT link in 10. That just makes sense to me, is the global outdoor air temp. We're linking it to input 10. Our source at ordination, we've already copied the global OAT point, so we'll just paste it into here click the folder and we're gonna to switch to the handle. The source slot is where it's coming from, so it's coming out of the out. And we're gonna take it to the target of input 10 or in 10. Once you hit okay, it's gonna give you a confirmation that shows that it was able to do it. Then we're gonna view the wire sheet once again, find our outdoor air temp, and as you can see, it has been linked back to global outdoor air temp. And to show you the link selection, it shows you it's linked it to every single one of these points, VAVs across the board. And that's how you would link one point to multiple points through the program service. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave it in the comments and I will see what I can do about answering as many as I can. Again, I'm no expert on this. I know enough to be dangerous, so I may not know everything, but I will do my best to answer those questions as best as I can. Again, if you guys like the content that I'm providing, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted anytime I post a new video because it could be very beneficial to you being more efficient in your controls journey. Again, thanks for watching the video. Take care and we'll catch you guys in the next one.